Hey, I'm Derek Curry with Sneaker Politics with locations in Louisiana and Texas. What a crazy thing about driving me to open up my first store was I always had a love for shoes. Like shoes were a huge part of my life. Getting a new pair of shoes and then and going to school that day with a fresh pair, that feeling was everything to me. I was born in Franklin, Louisiana, but that was like really short lived. And then I uh, moved to Generet. Kind of grew up in Generet to about sixth grade, then went to New Iberia is where I really came into myself. Sixth grade, graduated high school there. And from there, decided to go to UL to get my uh, bachelor's. Uh, one year at UL, I was having a little too much fun. So joined the army, had to get everything together. Did three years in the army, which included a tour in Iraq. Um, decided I didn't want to do that and I really needed to take school a little more serious. But all through school, I was trying to be a stockbroker or investment banker. And it wasn't until the last minute um, I graduated from college, had a job at Finish Line, kind of where I discovered there was a opportunity to open a sneaker store in Lafayette. The main demographic for sneaker politics is first off, we like everyone to come in. Like I would love for a whole family to come in and find something. We also carry clothing, accessories, um, hats, sunglasses. Pretty much you could walk in here and get dressed and leave with a whole new outfit and go on about your weekend and get whatever you need. How we started and how we currently are is mainly like 18 to 25 year olds, like high school kids, college kids, like people wanting something different from what's in the mall and, and, and just to stand out a little bit. More of statement pieces, like we have different kind of crazy things. What helped politics be successful in the beginning was um, me being in the store all the time. My love for shoes and my knowledge for shoes. If customers were in there, I wouldn't close. There were no hours, I was just there. So the first, the first reason I expanded was because um, one of the guys that started off with me when I first opened graduated college. And he was like, dude, I, I don't want to put on a suit and tie. I don't want to go do this. Like, can we figure out something to make it here? I'm like, man, we would just have to make more money to pay your salary. And uh, he came up with the online thing. He was like, dude, we need to make our online better. What if I focus on that, start taking pictures, doing things like that? And uh, I was like, all right, let's give it a shot. And sure enough, it worked. Then the second guy graduates college and he's the same way. And he's like, dude, I want to do it. I was like, well, we'd have to open another store to do something. He said, dude, I'll move to Baton Rouge. I was like, all right, it's sick, let's go. And it kind of just snowballed from there. Every store I have, the manager has come from Lafayette, has worked with me, knows how we run everything and took our vibe to another city and hired staff and went that way. Another thing that makes us different from other stores is Nike, we have what's called the tier zero account. There's only 25 accounts in the world that have this, which is wild. And we get products that no one else in the will get. And it's, it's like Travis Scott will do a collab with Nike and everyone wants him because he's one of the biggest artists in the world right now. So they'll come to the store like looking for him. People will drive from San Antonio, different states to come get this shoe because we're the only one in the area to get it and it's just subtle little different things they do collaborations with fashion designers or artists or um, music people in the music industry things like that to bring a little more energy into the product which our customers resonate with completely thanks for watching this month's cox business entrepreneur profile brought to you by developing lafayette